Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you 5 really cool Minecraft seeds in which you will spawn right next to a village, making it ideal seeds to start your new survival world in. All of these villages have some cool characteristics that make them stand out from other village spawn seeds. And a quick disclaimer, these seeds will only work for the bedrock version of the game, so for example PlayStation, Xbox or mobile. They do not work for the PC. And this is because the village spawn mechanism is different for the Java version. All of these villages that I'll show you are inhabited villages, so no abandoned villages, so that you can also trade with the villagers and are protected by the iron golem. I will go through these five seeds in an unsorted order, so it's not necessarily the case that number one is a better seed than number five, so make sure that you will watch till the end to see all these different cool village spawn seeds. So first up we have a nice savannah village that you will spawn right next to. It's a mid-sized village that's located close to the ocean and surrounded by forests and large caves. A part of the center of the village lies at a lower elevation, making it look, making it look like the ground has collapsed beneath. The village has a decent amount of buildings and also a couple of farms. However, what makes this village extra special is what lies beneath it. So if you head down into the ravine at this location, right next to the village, you will encounter a huge open cave deep down in the earth, which uh, actually a lot of waterfalls and lava falls and some small lakes at different elevations, which look, looks really cool. And it's very dark, so I've turned up the brightness so that you can see the size of the cave. There are also exposed diamonds and there's also an exposed mine shaft to be found. Next up we have a village that's located in a desert and closely borders a mesa biome as well as a jungle. Which is great because you won't have any trouble finding important resources such as wood, water and food. And speaking of food, this village has a lot of hay bales for you to either make a lot of bread or trade with the villagers for emeralds. Actually it's kind of weird to sell the villagers own goods to them, isn't it? Well, I wouldn't care about that. Also let me take a moment to point out how cool this desert biome looks. Personally, I really dislike the flat deserts because they are so boring. But these hilly deserts um, are just really beautiful. And also the fact that the jungle directly borders this desert is actually also kind of cool. Now, if you travel a bit in the following direction, you will eventually encounter another similar village uh, after just a short walk. This village also contains some hay bales and chests to further stock up on goodies to start your survival journey. The third village spawn seed that I'm going to show you is located in a completely different climate. In a plains biome bordering a partly frozen ocean and snow biome. The village is of a medium to slightly large size and contains a couple of chests, a farm and is decorated with quite a lot of market stands which makes it look looks quite nice and cozy. And also this village has a logical layout with four roads in each direction from the center. A beautiful aspect of this village is that the village church spawns slightly more elevated on top of the cliff next to the ocean, which I think looks really nice. This next seat is also located next to an ocean, but again in a different climate. It borders a jungle, which again is great for getting wood and food. And in contrast to the previous village, it lacks a church, so I suppose these villagers aren't as religious. With 18 buildings, this village is actually really large, so it contains quite some chests and other resources. And also this village is a true farmer's paradise with three pre-existing farms and a lot of flat space to construct more farms if you'd like. And same as the second seat that I've showed you, it has a lot of hay bales, but compared Compared to the second village, this village really has a ton. Therefore you will start your survival world with a lot of food and wheat to trade to the villagers. And I think that given the size and location of this village, it's basically a perfect place to make, your, make it your base camp. Lastly we have a seed in which you will spawn on top of a mountain, right next to a very glitchy savannah village that spawned on a hill slope, causing it to look both weird and cool. This is something that usually doesn't happen because villages normally spawn on relatively flat surfaces. Um, but these houses are located on different elevations from the bottom of to the top of the hill or mountain, whatever you'd call it. 
So due to the height differences, the roads are almost all disconnected as well as the farms, um, creating a couple of small waterfalls. However, what makes it even more glitchy is a root nether portal that spawned inside of a house, actually completely barricading the front door. So the chance of this happening is so low that I've really never seen it before. So these were the 5 village spawn seeds that I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you like them and might be able to use them. If you like this video, please consider putting a thumbs up and also feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.